Today I'm going to show you how you can add this cool feature blog post section at the top of your blog page using Divi. So it's a pretty straightforward process. I've got a section here, I'm going to add another, and I'm just going to leave it blank for now. So I've got two sections. In this bottom section, I'm going to add the bottom blog module. So I'm going to go plus, I'm going to make it full width. I'm going to go add a blog module. And this one's pretty big as it is, so I'm going to go to design, layout, and grid. And you can do whatever version of this that you like. But for now, we've got our grid here with so many blog posts, and we want to add our featured blog post at the top here. One of the things I would recommend is actually even going into this top section and styling it a bit. So you can add a background image and that kind of thing. For now, I'm just going to add a gray background because we can always add in backgrounds and things like that. And essentially, we've got this section now, it differentiates itself from the rest of the blog. Now, I'm going to show you, this is the first way, which is probably not as cool, but something worth knowing. I go to add, I add in my module, and I add in blog again. This time on the post count, I'm just going to put one. I can also split this up into categories if I want to, but overall, I now have this big blog post at the top here, and then several more underneath. And of course, I can do things such as edit. If I don't want the meta to show, I can come down to elements, I can Turn off pagination for one. I turn off the categories, the date, the author, and I've got something that's pretty tidy here. I can show the read more button and I get this here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it takes a lot more to get the result you want to. The image is stuck on the top, um, but for now, we'll stick with that before I show you uh, a better way of doing it. And click tick at the bottom. Now you notice our first blog post here is also repeated down here. So the way I fix that is I click on this module, I go to the, the gray square with the cog, I scroll down to post offset number and I put in one. And now it's actually offset that number by one. So it actually skipped the first blog post and start from the second. So straight away there, we've got our featured blog post and a grid here. But this looks a bit crappy in my opinion. So I'm gonna do a better version of that for you. I'm gonna add in here. I'm gonna add a full width row and I'm gonna add in a full width post slider. And for now, I'm just gonna hit tick and I'm gonna just remove this top one. And we have a slideshow here, which isn't really the same thing as what we wanted, but it's actually pretty easy to outfit this to look like a featured blog post area. So I click on this and I go to the gray area, click the cog, and I can just change the post count to one. And now we have the featured image in the background and our blog post. And there's a few more options here we can explore to really customize this. So if I want to, I can scroll down again, go to elements, I'm gonna turn off the post meta. I can show the read more button. I can even, go up the top here to content and where it says read more, I can say read our latest post. So I can customize the read more button more easily. And I have something here which looks a little bit more uh, sort of striking and than it does with the other format we had before. And we've got a few more options and it's just better designed. The next thing we can do is actually change the featured image and where it goes. So I scroll down here to featured image. And it says here, featured image placement. I can add top or bottom, which looks pretty ordinary, but left or right actually look probably the best. Now this one, we're a little bit crammed in here. So uh, I'm gonna actually change this background to an image. And because it's actually a slideshow, it tends to add a bunch of space. So I'm gonna go to design, spacing and where it has padding i'm just going to say 50 and link that up and i'm going to click tick and now this is what our blog post our featured blog post area looks like i can click on it go in again go to our featured image i can right align that image if this text is too big or the excerpt is too long i can shorten the excerpt if i want to under content sorry but I can make it shorter. I can make it 100. So it was 270, now it's only 100. So you get a shorter excerpt. The title might be a bit too big. I'm going to design title text, bring that title down, hit OK. So I've now got a much better looking featured post. And I can then take this a step further again. I can take this, go back in and add more design. So I'm gonna go back into design and spacing. And I'm gonna unlink these. And on the bottom, I'm gonna add 150. And then I'm gonna go okay, and then go up to my section settings here. Go to design, dividers, bottom. And I can choose something a little bit more visually striking at the bottom, I can make that white. And I get this cool 
sort of section here. I'm going to exit Visual Builder and take a look. So now I have this cool featured blog post section at the top and then flows on to the other blog posts. I haven't had to add any CSS code or do anything like that. And you'll notice there's no slideshow. It just stays in place. So you can use the slideshow module, bring that down to one and get that same cool layout that you get with it without actually having the slides back and forth. So that's a great way to add a featured blog post to your blog. And remember, you can also customize which categories they're in. If you wanted to have a featured blog posts category, or if you want to apply this to different category pages, you can actually get a lot done with that. So I hope you found that uh, pretty, hope you found that useful and interesting. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. If you want to check out the Divi theme, I have a link in the description and a bunch of Divi videos on my channel with a with a list. I'll playlist a link to below as well. Otherwise, I hope you had a great have a great day. I'll see you again soon.